In this video I'm going to show you how to fill the bases of your chest pieces to put weights in them and to add felt. First thing you'll need is some filler. This is water-based filler and this one has low shrinkage which means it doesn't contract when it dries. So this is very good for filling your chest pieces. You'll also need a wooden stick to apply the filler inside the base, some water to help smooth it out, and a paper towel, and then a variety of weights. These are M12 hex nuts, made of steel. And these are some lead fishing weights. They come in spheres and also longer thin shapes so that they can fit inside different pieces. Select whatever you have, whatever you think will fit your pieces. Now, different pieces have a different size cavity in the base for adding weights. This is the Staunton King. It's got lots of room. This piece is the Latvian Pawn. Obviously, you can't fit as much weight in there, so select pieces that will fit inside the base. Now you'll notice the FDM pieces have a smaller space in the bottom. So the resin prints are hollow all the way through to save resin, but the FDM ones have a, a cone in the base. Obviously this nut isn't going to work here, it would stick out too far, so using some of the thinner pieces would be better here. So these weights would uh, fit inside and not protrude out. I'm going to fill this pawn. This is uh, one of the Latvian pawns printed in resin and painted with satin black. So firstly apply some filler inside the base just to act as a glue to hold the initial weight in place. Then I'll apply some more to hold the rest of the weights. This doesn't have to be neat, it's just to make them stick. Okay, that looks good. That's going to fit inside. They're not going to protrude out. So now I have to cover them with filler and make a nice smooth uh, level base for the felt. Try to be neat about it. Don't let the filler go around the edges and onto the side of the piece. Have some mistakes where the filler has gone too far just get a wet tissue and clean it up it's a lot easier to clean it now while the filler is wet than to try and sand it off later when it's dry so here i'm just scraping the stick along the chest piece to try and make a level surface You can also use some water to help smooth out the filler and make it a very smooth surface. Alright, that piece is done. So set it aside and let it dry for at least a day. It might actually take two days to dry, depending on the humidity where you live. This piece is dried, so I'm going to add the felt to it. Here you can see the filler is nice and hard. One of the weights is, is slightly showing through, but it's, it's not creating a bump. And the soft felt is thick enough to cover up any small imperfections anyway. As you can see, the weight helps the, helps the piece stay stable. So you'll need 
some sharp scissors, a stick for spreading the glue. This is just a cooking toothpick, which I find is a good size for doing this. PVA water-based glue. It's also called craft glue or kids glue. And then pick a suitable color felt, something that matches your piece. You can get these in fabric stores. So first cut a piece of felt that matches the size of your, your piece's base. Then put the felt aside while you apply the glue. I've transferred some of that glue to a smaller dispenser to make it easier to use. You don't need a lot of glue, just apply a few lines like this over the filler. So you can see there's not too much. This will be enough to cover the base. Spread it evenly with your stick. Now it's important to get the glue all the way to the edges of the piece so that the felt doesn't peel or lift. So use the stick to spread the glue all the way to the edge. Then you just press the piece firmly onto the felt. Turn it around, press it well, make sure that it's adhering. And then put it aside. It will take about an hour to dry. Okay, the glue has now dried and it's ready to cut. So take your scissors and the plan is to rotate the piece while you cut. So I'm pressing the top blade of the scissor against the piece and then rotating it as I cut. And don't worry about getting it exactly right on the first try. You probably won't. You'll probably have some parts sticking out after the first try. You can come back and clean those up. So here you can see parts are sticking out where I've started each cut. So you need to come back on a second pass and clean up these parts that are messy. Uh, a good sharp pair of scissors makes a difference here. And that's it. You have a nice round felt base with weights inside, ready to play. There are lots of colors of felt available. Pick something that suits your pieces. There's a glossy Staunton Bishop with a dark red. And this is a ivory or bone style piece, which I've faced with a light blue. Traditional green is popular. And uh, black looks good as well. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your chess pieces.